Or is it, there's a scene that, that it, it kind of etches itself into the mind when you read your book about a, a moment shortly after Charles died and you're sitting in the room and you're watching the television and some of the pals have come around and they're mm. talking about your brother and they're reminiscing and talking about what ifs. What was going through your mind as you're focused on the television, yeah. although you were listening to the conversation? Tell us about what you were I, listening to. I remember the moment vividly in my mind yes. uh, where I was, uh, I used to always sit beside the fire and my back, we, my clothes used to be singeing most of the time. That was your place. That was my place, okay. as close <laughs> to the fire as possible. Yeah. And about two feet from the television. Yeah. And I remember sitting watching the TV and some of Charles's friends had been in, which was fantastic for our parents, people calling, keeping his memory alive. And, Lovely. you know, I think that's a really important thing. Sure. And uh, one of them, I think it might have been Owen McConnell from Ardra, had said, you know, uh, uh, it's terrible, you know, because he, he would have been a sure assert for the county miners. Yeah. And I, I remember just them words, and I remember staring at the television, uh, and in that moment saying to myself, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. And in the moment, my focus became very, very, very concentrated, and then I became very aware of the fact that I didn't want anybody else in the room to realise what I was thinking. Why not? Um, it was a I private don't, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know the answer to that. But I kept saying, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. And uh, from that moment on, uh, th that's how I started living my life. And so when I would get in from school, 20 to 4, because we're just a couple of hundred metres from the school, yeah. I would be quarter to four, I'd be uh, running down the road or on the bike, and I'd be in the pitch, particularly in the winter time, because you'd only have maybe 45 minutes of light. And uh, I, it just became a big, big, big part of my life. Did, did you th do you think you grieved through football? Did it become a refuge for you of sorts? A place to go? Um, I think on reflection, having gone through the process of writing the book, probably yeah. yeah. Probably yeah. Um, I spent a lot of hours on the pitch on my own and, uh, and trained and trained and trained and trained and trained. And I remember at under-16 level, making the divisional team. Yeah. Uh, not making the divisional team, I should say. Yeah. Not making it. Yeah. And thinking to myself, well, I've got 18 months to be a county minor and I can't make the divisional team and there's four divisions in the county. And I remember thinking to myself, I need to do this. Yeah. So I, I went harder at it and longer at it and I, and I started living on the pitch, you know, most of the time. Yeah. To the point where the seniors then would start, so I would be down for a couple hours and the seniors would come in yeah. and they would start training and then I just became sort of the guy that kicked the ball out to them and then I became a part of it and then I was joining in in games and my development just kept going. When you, you got there, it was in 1990, Jim, and uh, the, mm -hmm. the miners called you and said, you're, you're, you're in. Mm -hmm. where, where was Charles in your mind at that point? He was very, very close to me. Was he? Very, very close to me. And I remember going into the dressing room when I got the jersey and handed the jersey because the team was named. But it's not until you get the jersey yeah. that you, you believe that you go out onto the pitch and going into the toilet and closing the door and, uh, and having a few words with him and putting the jersey on me. And that was a good moment because that was a moment five years coming. What kind of words would you have had? Um, I, honestly, I don't fully remember um, right now, but it was along the lines of, you know, that we did it and... Uh, that, that the, I suppose, what I wanted to do was be, to be true to him and to, to honour him as best I could. And I felt I got that in that moment.